Okay, this is video two of unit one for uh, facts classes. This is all about FCCLA. So now we're going to talk about how FCCLA, how did the FCCLA get started? So kind of the history of FCCLA. So before FCCLA was, uh, before FCCLA was actually FCCLA, it was known as the uh, F FHA or Future Homemakers of America. And probably most of your parents, that's what they know. And they call this these classes home ec um, that you're taking. But we're not really, we, we've kind of gone away from that. Um, we do focus on um, a lot of stuff, you know, to, with your, your home. And we do cooking and we sew. And, you know, we're going to do those things in this class this year. But we do so much more. I mean, we do personal finance. We do leadership skills. We do um, community service. There's just so much more. So that's why uh, we went away from future homemakers of America. Because we're not all, you know, we're not all going to be homemakers. And there's nothing wrong with being a homemaker. But, you know, a lot of people um, take careers that are um, involved in the family consumer sciences world like um you know teachers or uh, daycare workers there's things like that there's all kinds of things so that's why we changed to um, fccla that's why our the name changed so anyway it kind of started um, fha started at a convention in chicago in june 1945 and it stayed that way until 1999 when we became family career and community leaders of america so, back in, all the way back in October of 1946, Arkansas received its charter, and we were the 37th State Association of FHA, and dues were only 10 cents, if you can imagine, and there's the original FHA emblem, that's what it, um, Toward New Horizons, Future Homemakers of America. And then in 1965, the Future Homemakers of America and New Homemakers of America, they were two different groups, they merged. Um, New Homemakers of America was the organization for black or African American home economic students. And there is the emblem on the bottom left here. Um, so now we're going to talk about the significance of the FCCLA colors emblem flower and logo okay so our official colors are red and white um, and they actually mean something red symbolizes courage determination and strength and white symbolizes sincerity of purpose and integrity of action and this is our um, flower it's a red rose and it represents the search for beauty in everyday living so let's kind of look at our logo and really logo and emblem pretty much the same thing so here it is over here on the right this is our this is actually the logo ultimate leadership experience and it shows that FCCLA is a dynamic active organization bound for the future uh, the dominant collegiate lettering articulates a focus on education and student leadership. The swooping arch embodies an active organization that moves toward new arenas, and the color of the emblem is one of the organizational colors, red. And that's directly quoted from the FCCLA website. And the only difference between the logo and the emblem is that when you look at the emblem, it doesn't have the ultimate leadership right there on the bottom right. Okay, so now we're going to talk about um, FCCLA's mission, creed, and motto. So let's look at our mission. Our mission is to promote personal growth and leadership development through family and consumer sciences education, focusing on the multiple roles of family member, wage earner, and community leader. Members develop skills for life through character development, creative and critical thinking, interpersonal communication, practical knowledge, and career preparation. So that's the whole point of FCCLA. That's their mission, 
is just um, character development, creative critical thinking. Just think about it's trying to make you the best you so you can help others become better. That's what the FCCLA's mission is. Okay, FCCLA's creed. Let me scooch over here. And this is what we, we start out and we end our meetings with this creed. It is, we are the family, career, and community leaders of America. We face the future with warm courage and high hopes, for we have the clear consciousness of seeking old and precious values. For we are the builders of homes, homes for America's future, homes where living will be the expression of everything that is good and fair, homes where truth and love and security and faith will be realities, not dreams. We are the family, career, and community leaders of America. We face the future with warm courage and high hopes. Okay, and if you're in class on this day, uh, we're going to do a little contest with the creed to see who can uh, memorize it the fastest. Okay, on to our motto. And our motto has stayed the same like pretty much since the beginning. It's toward new horizons. Just trying to go toward new things. Okay, and that's where we're going to end. Um, no, you know what? We'll keep going. We'll keep going. We've got enough time. Okay, we're going to do the eight purposes of FCCLA. So this is what FCCLA kind of builds on our mission statement. Now we're going to talk about the eight purposes. Okay. Um, our, eight, our purposes are to provide opportunities for personal development and preparation for adult life, to strengthen the function of the family as a basic unit of society, to encourage democracy through cooperative action in the home and community, number four, to encourage individual and group involvement and helping achieve global cooperation and harmony. Five is to promote greater understanding between youth and adults. Six is to provide opportunities for making decisions and for assuming responsibilities. Seven is to prepare for the multiple roles of men and women in today's society. Eight is to promote family and consumer sciences and related occupations. Okay, it's a lot. But that's what FCCLA it's all about. It's um, each one of those things. That's what, um, as an organization, that's what we try try to do. Okay, and that's going to be the end of video two.